Hi, I'm Clint, and this is my little girl, Roxy. Dental health is extremely important for your dog. In fact, I remember my first two Lassa Absol dogs, Pepper and Max, I had to take them into the vet clinic every few years just to get their teeth clean because of tartar buildup. And to get their teeth clean, they had to get under general anesthetic. And as you can appreciate, that's never a good thing, not to mention the costs involved. So when I got my new Lassa Absols, Roxy and her brother, Chester, I decided to brush their teeth as part of their daily routine grooming. Now you might be asking, how do you brush a dog's teeth? How do you even get a dog to cooperate in getting their teeth brushed? Well, I'm going to show you the exact steps that I took to train Roxy and her brother to get their teeth cleaned. The first step that must be done is to train them in terms of touching them anywhere you want. In fact, this type of training should commence immediately as soon as you bring your new puppy home. You want to train your dog when he or she is still young. Now, ideally, you should be able to touch your dog anywhere. So I can touch Roxy anywhere in the paws, underneath, the back, the tail, and yes, even the bum, just in case if I have to clean her dirty bum. And of course, anywhere in the head. I should be able to touch her anywhere in the ears, okay? Lassa Absols are also notorious for discharge around the eye area. So I can touch Roxy anywhere in the eyes, and then of course, inside the mouth. And basically, to start training your dog to cooperate when you do that, is you basically stick your finger inside her mouth. Okay, right there, Roxy. Good girl. Good. And both sides. Other side. Yes, that's good. Now, for a new puppy, he or she might start nibbling on your fingers. They probably think it's some type of game. But you just have to be assertive. You just have to be stern. And show the puppy who's boss. It's not a game. You can stick your fingers in their mouth whenever you want. That's the first step. Now to introduce your dog to toothpaste. First of all, never, and I repeat, never use human toothpaste for your dogs. They will ingest the toothpaste, and if they ingest human toothpaste, they will get sick. So what you have to do is you have to go to the pet store and buy some special pet toothpaste. Now it's not as bad as it sounds because pet toothpaste comes in all sorts of flavors that dogs love. It comes in chicken flavor, beef flavor. I've got some right here. And I'll show you the first step that I did to introduce my dogs to pet toothpaste. All you do is you take a little bit of toothpaste, you just dab some on your finger, just like that. And you let your dog sniff it. Your dog will lick it. So she loves this stuff. So she knows what this is all about. But this is exactly what you do with a new puppy. Now after you get that done, put a little more on your finger. And this time, what you want to do is you want to place a little bit of this toothpaste on your dog's tooth, just like this. Open up, there you go. And she's going to lick it, so she knows this is good stuff. To progress, you want to put some more toothpaste again on your finger, and this time you want to use your finger as if it's just like a toothbrush. So just like before, when you stick your finger in your dog's mouth, that's what you want to do. You want to stick it in the back there and just pretend that you're brushing her teeth on both sides with your finger. And she's going to lick it and she loves this stuff. That's the progression that you take also in the front. Now you do this for a few days so that your puppy is used to this. It's used to having your finger in her mouth also with the toothpaste. The next step is entirely optional. You can use what's known as a finger brush. Basically, it's a rubber piece like this. It's got some bristles. You just place it on your index finger like so. You can also get at the pet store a glove. Basically, it's a glove brush. And a glove brush is just a plastic glove that fits over your hand and it's got some built-in bristles where the fingers are. Same idea. But the way you use a finger brush is exactly what you did with your fingers. So you basically put some toothpaste on the bristles here. You let your dog lick it, put some more, and then you basically put it inside her mouth. 
and just use the same action that you did with your fingers. Again, this is entirely optional. I used a finger brush for my first two Lassa Absols, but with Roxy and her brother, I didn't even use this. I completely skipped this step. I went straight to a toothbrush. And you could do that as well, if you should choose so. Now to introduce your dog to the toothbrush. You could get a pet toothbrush at the pet store and they're basically brushes that are a little bit angled and sometimes they have a larger piece and a smaller piece depending on the size of your dog. Now I didn't bother with a pet toothbrush. I just went straight to a regular toothbrush because I happen to have extra toothbrushes from my dentist and it's not a problem. My dogs use a regular toothbrush all the time. Here's what you do. So you put some toothpaste on the brush like so Okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to put it inside one of the cheeks. So I put it inside the cheek there, okay. And what I do is I close, I keep my other hand to close the mouth. And now I brush. Good girl. And then I go over to the next position, the other side. I do the same thing. And then finally a little bit in the front. That's like a first step. The second step, I repeat the same thing, except I have the mouth open. So again, I use one finger, pry it open. Okay, there you go, Roxy. Now I can see what's going on. Do the bottom and also the top. Excellent. And then now the other side. I use my finger here to pull the cheek back a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. Very gentle. I brush the bottom and then the top. Okay, good girl. And then. I brush the front. So I'm holding on to her head so she won't move too much and she knows what it's all about. And that's it. Done. Very easy. Good girl, Roxy. Nice clean teeth. This is my boy Chester. This is Roxy's brother. I'm going to do the same thing with Chester so you can see what I'm doing but a little bit more of a close-up. Now we're going to do Chester. Same thing, I have some toothpaste on the brush here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert it in the mouth, good boy, inside the cheek, and then I hold the mouth closed. Now, you don't have to hold the mouth closed, I just do, because I like to do it in two steps. A lot of people don't do it this way. Good boy, okay, other side, good, excellent. And then now the front. Good boy. Okay, now the second step. Now this is what most people do, just the second step. So I take my finger, I open up the mouth so I can see what I'm doing. There's the teeth to the bottom. Good. Now the top. Excellent. Okay, other side. I use my finger to pry the... Okay, let me see Chester. Good boy. And then the top. Good boy. Okay, now the front. Boy. Now the veterinarians, they say that you actually don't have to brush the inside of the teeth. It's just outside the teeth that counts. But if you want to and if you can, you could try brushing the inside of the teeth as well. And sometimes I do with my dogs. Okay, I just do the insides a little bit. Okay, and other side. Good boy. That's it. That's it for brushing dogs' teeth. Quite simple. The whole idea is you have to get them started when they're young. Let me see your nice clean teeth, Chester. Wow, very nice. It's fresh breath too, excellent. Okay, so don't ever neglect your dog's dental health. It's extremely important for them. Hope you found this very useful.